Welcome back to the Movement Project. It's episode 55. Today we're finally going to introduce my favorite movement, or one of my favorite movements, called the Turkish Get Up. What I really like about this is it's kind of a final exam for your mobility, stability, and overall strength. Because not only is it a um, single arm movement, but it also takes a lot of shoulder and thoracic mobility to do so, grip strength, and hip mobility to do the entire movement. So let me go ahead and walk you through it. It's done usually with a kettlebell. All right. I'm going to show you the movement and talk about kind of little tips and secrets while I do. So I'm going to start lying all the way down. If I hold the bell on my right arm, my right knee is bent, left arm is up at 45 degrees, I must keep my elbow locked out. All right, the biggest secret here, keep the fist facing the ceiling and get a really strong grip. A strong grip and a packed down shoulder, meaning a, a depressed and retracted shoulder blade, will give you a stable shoulder allowing you to keep this arm locked out for the entire movement. All right, so I'm going to drive the shoulder down towards the ground, make sure there's a lot of distance between ear and shoulder, and then I'm going to use this left hand to my advantage. This is not about doing a sit-up, this is about being efficient from the ground to a standing position. All right, so I'm going to use my right heel, I'm going to use my left arm. First I'm going to dive into my elbow, then I'm going to dive into my hand. While I do this entire movement, I'm trying to stack joint upon joint. All right, so now I'm right hand to left hand stacked up. I'm going to lift my hips in the air by squeezing my glutes, and then I'm going to take my left knee and stack it under my right hand. So now I'm stacked from my right arm to my left knee, and then I'm going to think about pulling through this right heel into a standing position. All the while, strong grip, tight midsection, brace. What I don't want is hyperextended low back, so I need to make sure that I've warmed up the midsection and I can get in that perfect braced position. Then I come down the same way I came, stacking joint upon joint, and I end back on the ground. And that's one Turkish get up. You can see how not only for a trainer, this is a lot of information watching someone do this, but for you as someone that's about to go into some heavy lifting, this will give you an idea of how you're feeling for that day. Are you able to get in those positions? Is it tough because of your mobility? Is your strength there? What's the difference between your right and your left? So make sure you do both and work on that weaker side. The next variation I'm gonna show you guys, this is something I use a lot of times for people that have limited shoulder mobility. All right, we've done a lot of shoulder mobility sequencing and videos, so go back to those working on shoulder flexion and thoracic extension. But now, if you have a hard time with that position, let's work on the grip. This is a grip training tool. It just looks like a little tire. All I'm gonna do is try to clamp it down shut. I'm gonna maintain that strong grip the whole way. So I'm lying down, I'm gonna do the same thing. Strong grip, that stabilizes the shoulder. Pack it down, take a big breath. Same exact movement must keep the wrist directly over the shoulder, must stack the joints, and keep that grip strong the whole way. Same thing, all the way down. All right, working on both sides. And another good thing about that grip trainer is for humans, for people, the two things that break down the quickest in any big lifts, A, the midline, so the spine will start to crack and start to uh, round forward, and B, it's grip. Okay, so if you're hitting a plateau in the deadlifts or you're having a hard time with endurance because of pull-ups, it's very well could be your grip is really fatiguing. So get a grip trainer, start working on Turkish get-ups, take advantage and draw that shoulder blade and pack it down. All right, good luck.